So there we go. A little bit of information with XRP. What a great day. Um, yeah, I think we can see $100 XRP. <laughs> <laughs> breaking news here on Martin Lucas. Can I really say that? It was breaking news a few hours ago, but uh, we got a special for you. You might notice that I'm wearing a nice gold jacket with a gold with a gold tie. Now you might think it's because I'm celebrating my portfolio breaking all time records. You know I took four grand out of my portfolio a couple of days ago. Well, I'm nearly back up to that with a four grand taken out. No, it's not for me. I don't have the gold jacket on for me. I'm more interested in how other people feel. And we're really excited because we have our crypto expert on the show today live. He's in the green room about to speak to me about XRP. XRP is, I'm not going to say it. I've got to let him say it. And before I bring him on the show, I want to say uh, to him and thank you to everybody who took part in our crypto challenge. This is just the beginning. And I'm really excited because uh, Sensei Ali Chisro has been studying XRP for the longest time really cares about the members and he, and he predicted this day would come and it didn't just come, it came in spades. So let's have a quick look. Let's bring uh, our special guest live on the show. I'm wearing the gold jacket this afternoon in honor of my good friend, Sensei Crypto Ali. You're live on the show. How are you, mate? I'm doing very, very well today. <laughs> of course Thanks you are. On the show. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Ali, to everything you've done, you must be feeling great. I, and I know, I know you've made a lot of money for yourself, but I know you'll be mainly feeling really happy for the members who uh, took part in our challenge. And uh, I know that will be uh, a great, great delight for you. So tell me all about it. I'll stop talking now and I'll hand it over mm. to you. What's going on? No, exactly. I'm I'm very happy for the members. I'm very happy for anyone who listened. It wasn't, I, I tried to present as many facts as possible. I tried to point in the right direction. I couldn't directly tell you to buy it, but I basically did. Um, in all the ways. <laughs> Come on, stand. It's, it's your day. I'm wearing the gold jacket for you. Stand up and be counted. Take, take yeah. it. You deserve it. I could, I could have said it in any clearer way. XRP. Um, unless, uh, I mean, I'm very happy about the the judge this this decision. Um, um, I'm happy that there is still an element of non corruptness in the U.S. Uh, judicial system, and and there is a fight back against the SEC. I'm, I'm um i'm 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 so happy the the judges um uh came to this ruling um there it's been over 700 800 days of 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 this happening i've been here since the day the sec deemed xrp as security the the 3 days before christmas it was it ruined those holidays and and today finally um we got the decision we were looking for and 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 the decision that that was warranted and and that decision is XRP is not a security <laughs> and <laughs> and I'm I'm delighted to be able to say those words um yeah uh, yeah so what is so, your I mean what is your yeah. percentage I, I I you don't have to tell me how much you've got I, I mean I, I I've got a good idea but I know you don't don't necessarily want to share that with everybody but what percentage are you up or when when did or what, what, when did you first buy XRP at what price um well i bought xrp pre-2017 i don't know probably around the same same price is around 25 cents i mean my average is around 30 cents so okay. so um and, and and a lot of the members got in at around 35 cent um yeah. around this area here. so right now would be up if it was around the 30 cent area um we would be up over a hundred percent, so we've 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 at least one hundred fifty percent. I mean, from the areas I guess I was buying, um, <laughs> one hundred fifty percent, and to the highs of today, two hundred percent, which is great. But 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 I don't even care about the money today. Um, no. I'm just happy uh, that 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 this is a big step for the crypto industry. This is a, a massive win. Um, I don't care what happens today. I don't care if we drop all the way back down to fifty cent. Um, I've taken a little bit of profit, but 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 the main thing is here. XRP is not a security. No other crypto has that clarification. Um, going into the next bull run, knowing that XRP is not a security, and some of these co coins can go through this two-year process, I'm I'm so happy holding XRP. I don't mind. I mean, I'll take profits to buy back lower, but if I'm left holding the bag and this goes down to fifty cent, I really don't care because I I know XRP is not a security. And as you were saying earlier on the show. Is this something to keep? You are saying you don't care if you sell it or not. I think we're in the same position. We 
this is a crypto that's that's here to stay now this is a crypto that has regulation now this is a crypto that can um that can uh, financial institutions can get into this is a crypto that 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 can change the how many, uh, that can how, how many crypto compatible. assets have this how many how many crypto assets have this uh clar have this uh, uh quality then which, which yes, other this, which other ones? I think the the only other one is Bitcoin, and that's not directly being said, but I think it's it's widely known that Bitcoin is not a security. So Ethereum doesn't have it, Matic doesn't have it, and nothing has it. Ooh. It's XRP and so Bitcoin. What do you think then? <laughs> what do you, I mean? Just think about that for a moment. Just let's just think about that for a moment, right? What do you think then for the people that have said? XRP could be the next Bitcoin. What's your thoughts on that? The fact that I have 811 XRP doesn't sound much today, but put it in that qualification. No, I mean, What's your thoughts there? It's it, 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 it's it's better than Bitcoin. It's faster than Bitcoin. It's um, an updated version. It's got technology it's being built on. Um, so so in, in essence, it is a better Bitcoin. Um, it does what Bitcoin was supposed to do, a transfer of money better than Bitcoin. Um, so in, in a sense, it is Bitcoin, but I think Bitcoin has gone under a category that um, that XRP is in, which is sort of a store of value, and, and XRP is more what it was made for, which is transactions. So I think they both have their place, but XRP certainly has. Um, uh, so is it, it possible? Go, so is it possible it, we could see it, it, silly numbers? Um, yeah, I think we can see a hundred dollar XRP. <laughs> 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 I mean, that means we're all millionaires, right? I mean, that's basically, see, that's the way I look at it. The way I look at it is like, you know, we're, we're, we're making money across all our portfolio, right? We're good. The bull market started in, 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 in December. We're up now. Everything's flying. Inflation's coming down. The, the, the US is leading the world when it comes to the economy right now. Everything's starting to go in the right direction. Now we just want to alert everybody. This isn't, this isn't great. The economy is still terrible. We're still borrowing too much money. Inflation still out of control. Let's just not get carried away. We print too much money. The whole system is broken. However, we're still making money right along the journey. So, if if that is the case, and my portfolio is is like that, I've got no margin. Everything's looking great. You know, really good. You know, I've only spent a few hundred bucks, and I'm in a stock that's already gone up a hundred percent. It's already, and now it's not a security, and the only other asset is Bitcoin. So you think. Well, for a few hundred bucks, if it goes to zero, I only lose a few hundred bucks. If it does go and becomes a hundred or in, in whatever, just hold it, right? Yeah, yeah, it's it's a, it's yeah, it's it's a crazy price prediction. A hundred dollars is is a hundred x from here, and and. Uh, and do I believe it can get there? I, I actually do believe it can get there. Not this bull cycle, not next, maybe the one after, maybe in 15 years. And and, and you'd say, oh, um, the, the market cap, what would the market cap be then? I think it would be around, I think it would be over 5 trillion. And, and, and that might be crazy to hear from some, but the, the XRP is different to most cryptos. I think, um, I think the amount of money that can come into crypto uh, is 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 a lot more than it than than there is now. I mean, it's a certain degree higher. Once regulation comes to a whole crypto field, a lot of money can flow in. And 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 the point about XRP is it's it's a trans. It's 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 used to move money around the world. It's used so banks can use it. It's used so the individual can use it. It's used so partners of Ripple can use it. And when that happens, it's, it's, it doesn't matter really about the market cap because it's how much money's in it, how much money's being moved around the world. And trillions and trillions and trillions of, of dollars are being moved around the world. So for, for an asset like XRP, it's not about the value of XRP, it's how, it's how much money is being moved on XRP. And if XRP is the one that replaces SWIFT, it's the one that's 10, 100 times che me, cheaper than SWIFT. Let me put this it to can you. Get there. Yeah, let me put this to you because uh, so... Me and you, well, we, we, you know, you know, you know we're, we're we're in on this together. A lot of, you know, a lot of uh, agreement amongst the two of the two of us. But I'm old school. I'm a bit older than you, and uh, I, you know, I believe in old fashioned money and sending money. But I'm also, you know, can see the new world as well. I'm not completely, I'm not completely past it. But uh, the banks are trying to compete with this, and I just experienced firsthand. Just a couple of days ago, something incredible happened. I've never had happen before with the bank. 
because they know they've got to catch up. Banks don't pay us enough money on our interest. We're earning, you know, much more money like with me on my uh, uninvested cash with Robinhood at 4.65. Bank of America only give me less than a half a percent. And it's crazy because Robinhood sweep the money to Bank of America. They sweep it to Wells Fargo. They sweep it to uh, Chase. All the banks that I'm that I'm in paying me nothing. So it does show you it's possible. But what was really interesting was every few months, I like to use an app called TransferWise and I send money to the UK, right? And what I do yeah. is I link up my bank using the played system, you know, the, 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 how it works, connects the bank between the app and my bank. And what it does, it takes the money out of my Bank of America sticks it in in uh, TransferWise and sends it to the UK. Normally, this takes about three to five days and it costs me a few bucks. Well, it cost me four bucks to send $1,000. So that's pretty good. But it did it in one second. And this is weird because the money was in my Lloyd's bank account, cleared funds that I could then send around other bank accounts I was using, right? And the money hadn't even left Bank of America, it hadn't even left to arrive in TransferWise to go to London, to go to Lloyd's, to, to, to go to the UK. So obviously behind the scenes, the banks are going, we've got to improve our system because people want to move money instantly. They want to do it efficiently. So I don't have, I, I, I don't know if you have a clue how the hell that happened. So I looked yesterday, the money finally had left Bank of America, but two days after I'd already received it in the UK. So banks aren't sitting around getting left behind. They're going to compete. They don't want to be left behind. So uh, I don't know if you know how the hell that worked, but that uh, yeah. astounded me, to be honest. Yeah, I think I've got a couple ideas. I mean, they might just have money sitting on the other side of the border and they just know that, that they keep that money on that side and they facilitate the transactions that way. Um uh, bank to bank, um, yeah. but the, the 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 way that XRP is different is you will be able to do that anywhere in the world. Um, the US UK might have a a very streamlined way, and a specific uh, a specific bank might be doing it that way, or, or a service provider might be doing it that way. But um, once you get to a different uh, amount of transaction, might not be the same. There might be a fee if you try to do it to any other country in the world, maybe somewhere in Africa, Asia, even somewhere else in Europe might not be the same. I don't I don't know the ins and outs of it, but um, maybe that company is already using uh, uh, something um, like XRP, because XRP works with the banks, so banks do it on top of XRP. The, the, I don't know the, the complete ins and outs of the technology behind XRP and how how it did oh I, more about XRP than I know how that bank did it but I know yeah. that banks are are looking to use this I know that basically every single CBDC uh, country that's that's looking to CBDCs which is most is has cited XRP's technology and and how they and how they do those um, transactions in their papers so I do understand that XRP is is a high c a competitor for these financial institutions and so. Now we now we yeah. now we've established that XRP is not a security, and we've already established the only other asset like that is Bitcoin. Now we've got to that point. Uh, at the moment, XRP isn't tradable on my Robinhood app. Are we going to see that? Are we going to see changes now where you can trade XRP or what? What's going to happen next? Yes, yeah. I mean, uh, I'd assume so. Maybe even tonight. I don't know. Um, there is no reason why these exchanges won't relist XRP. Um, is that a reason XRP will go up further? Absolutely. Um, Coinbase relists XRP. Uh, we'll see a coinless pump. Robinhood relists XRP. We'll see a Robinhood pump. Uh, other exchanges start listing it. The, uh, the US citizen, the average US citizen, has has easy access to buying XRP. We'll see a pump. Um, Maybe there'll be the initial pump, then there'll be the normal initial dump. There's always pump and dump in the markets. But from that initial pump, you'll be able to make money, you'll sell your XRP. From the fact that everyone in the US can buy XRP next bull run, you'll make a lot of money. Okay, fantastic. So just to wrap up, what are you going to do with your position? Are you going to uh, take, well, you've already said you've taken a bit of profit off the top. Again, it depends on everyone's position, of course, whether they're desperate for the money, whether they can just leave it sitting there. Doesn't make any difference to them if it goes back down to zero. I mean, worst case scenario. Um, what it, what, what's your strategy? And most importantly, 
most importantly, what would be your strategy for the members? I know it's a, it's you as a, pr a premium uh, service, and uh, I'll come on to that in a second. But for what you can give to our members today who are listening, uh, without giving away too much, because it is a premium service for you, of course. Uh, yeah. are you able to give uh, any thoughts? Yeah, of them? course. I mean, I, I'll, I'll, I've I've spoken to the members today. I, I've I've given a few bits and bobs out, but. Um, I mean, it's it's up to uh, the the individual person, as we've discussed before. The the this, the person itself, uh, the the person themselves, needs to say, "Wow, I've had a seventy five seventy six percent pump. We don't get this in seven years of the S and P. Exactly, this is good. That is Shall the most important thing you just said. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And 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 the person, yeah, that's a good day. Let me take some. Let me take some. Profit. I think everyone should take a bit of profits. Um, if not to buy back lower, I mean, there will be different levels. I think when we get back up to ninety cent, I might, I might specifically say to you, Martin, let's take some money off the top. <laughs> but um, you but there will be different control, levels. Sensei. So, sorry, did I lose you? No, no. I said you got to keep me under control. I get all. Oh excited. yes, of course. Yes, that's what I'll try and do. I have to speak to you one on one and make sure you you, you take some profits. But but there, there's different levels. I mean, we're not done yet. I mean, my profit taking levels. If I just go out this chart and start showing, um, there is more profit taking levels than than here. This is one, two, three. Oh, hang that's on. The, I the have, highest I, one there. I, is... I don't. I don't have the chart. I, I don't see oh, the no. chart. Yeah, you, you don't. okay. Don't worry, but but what I'm showing is levels of one one dollar thirty, one dollar sixty, two dollars, and there's a, a lot more profit taking levels above this, which which I've posted to the to the members. So 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 I still do see a, a long way up. I, I don't doubt that when there when there's a pump like this, we'll get a a correction. But but when there's more news coming out, like Coinbase relisting, I expect us to go to a dollar, and that's where maybe we'll take a, a bit more out to reinvest. But it really depends on the. I've I've done my job now. I I explained to you exactly <laughs> oi, what. Oi, no, you haven't. It's just started. <laughs> <laughs> it has just started. There's two sources. There is a double. I, I've told you all the reasons why to buy. I've I've been saying it for for over a year now to everyone here. I've been really explicitly saying it for the last three months very strongly. This is coming to an end. Um, there's a chance it'll go wrong, but, but the, if the law's on our side, if the facts are the facts, then we will, XRP will be deemed not a security. And that's what we've got given to us today. Um, and uh, and there will be different, I mean, $1 is, I mean, there, there's, just to give you a snippet, there's there's some profit taking levels which are still um, more than 300% away. So so we're not done yet. Um, I will be providing more information and different buying zones because I've taken profits um, 10, 15%. Oh yeah, there was a point where I saw the news came out. I was I was I was on the way to Gatwick to pick up a friend of mine. I I saw the news came out. I um I was like, the news has come out. XRP is sitting sitting at sixty fifty nine cents. This doesn't seem right. I put a quick long position on. Um, notified people. I put the long position on, and in a matter of half an hour, that long position that had done hundreds of percentages. So. There's going to be money to be made on both sides of this at different levels. There'll be specific levels which we'll, we'll long um, and we'll also buy back at while we're taking the profits. This is just the beginning and it's and it's, and it's it's just such a relief that um, it's happened and, and XRP is deemed not a security. Sensei, thanks for calling in. Congratulations, because I know, because I speak to uh, Ali regularly, one-on-one uh, -on -one conversations. We have private conversations, you know, on the phone. And I know how much he cares about the members. It's why he's so sensible when it comes to suggesting things. And he's so, you know... Uh, he, 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 we're not pumping and dumping anything. We're not. Which we're not trying to get views. We're not trying to make sensationalist videos. Uh, at, at, you know, at all. Um, this. You know, everything we're doing is trying to help people not to sell videos. Cool. Uh, everything is about that. Um, so even in today's thumbnail, it was you, you saw I didn't put uh, I didn't put Ripple to a million dollars or or anything like that. I simply said the facts and showed you a happy smiling face, and here we are talking about it. So, Ali, uh, thank you ever so much for everything that you've done so far uh, for the members. But I'm going to tell you now, this isn't the end. This is the beginning. So you get used to that. And uh, thank you for everything you've done and congratulations. Uh, thank you very much. Um, thank you for having me on the show and thanks for allowing me to have uh, to be on this platform to, 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 to show everyone uh, these trades and I really appreciate it. Thank you.
So if you like uh, what you've just heard now and you're thinking, OK, I'd like to be part of all this. I want to know what crypto to buy, when to buy it, what's good, what's not. Now, you might be like me and not have the time to study every crypto, every in, every out. I mean, uh, Ali has uh, relationships with uh, the the the, uh, the project managers. He talks to people. He's on the ground studying the stuff 24 hours a day. So I want Ali working for me. So that's what happens. I have my crypto challenge, which which is a uh, thousand bucks I put in to Coinbase, and the idea is to get one thousand bucks to ten thousand. Some of you are on the seven thousand to a hundred thousand dollar challenge. And Sensei studies it all the time. And when he says, we're going to buy XYZ or sell XYZ, that's what I do. Now, I do it unquestionable, even though I'm, I'm joking now and saying I refuse to sell it. I actually do it unquestionably because... Um, and you should never do that. You should do your own research. But that's the arrangement I've got with with Ali. I haven't got the time to study all the interest to study. Uh, but uh, so I just follow what he, what he uh, says, says for me to do. So if you want to be part of all this, this is at Sensei's website. Uh, you can sign up for free. It's completely for free. Uh, and uh, that's that's great. Or if you want the the one-on-one -on -one services or more information, then you can. We've got free content here on his website. If you use, uh, as always, my uh, coupon code, uh, you will basically get, if you, if you do wish to subscribe to his services, you will get my membership to my channel virtually free. My members get the best deal. And in fact, my membership is virtually for free if you use the coupon code, which is in the chat right now, LucasAids, LucasAids. There it is, L-U-C-A-S-A-D-E-S, -E all right? So you can uh, sign up for this if you want. This is all the free content. He'll do charts, analysis, look at all the different cryptos, why they're good, why we're buying it. And we don't just blindly buy Bitcoin or Binky Bonk or whatever it might be. There's a certain percentages. It's all worked out. And it's done specifically to be a sensible, uh, not clickbaity YouTube grabbing headlines. It's about just making money. And he knows that I care like he does about my viewers and he doesn't want anyone to lose any money. That doesn't mean to say uh, things go wrong, things go wrong. Uh, that can happen at uh, any point. It's all down to you. But we're doing it with the right intentions, with the uh, with the knowledge and the studying and all the rest of it. So if you want that, you can have it for free or you can sign up to one of the paid plans. And as I say, you will get a discount, which will basically make my membership virtually, virtually, not completely, virtually free. Just by being a member of my channel, you get the discount for this services and you can do it for one month, cancel it the next, you do whatever you like. It's there for your, your benefit. Anyway, that's XRP. That's the day it happened. We've been uh, planning for this for nearly two years. Uh, well, Sensei's been a partner in the show and been a, been a sponsor of our channel. There's XRP looking great. I'm very happy. This is my crypto challenge. Let me just share with you on the screen where we're at. And it's great to finally see, finally see all time I am up. Look at that. We've talked about it. I'm going, well, I should be up all time. Why am I not? And we talked about that the other day. But now you can see I am up all time. Now, you might go 1,600 bucks. How much did you put in? I put 1,000 bucks in, only 500 of it is in crypto assets. The rest of it is in USD coin, which is also a crypto asset, of course, but it's in USD coin. Uh, so it's it's just earning 2%. Only 500 is invested and I've made 693. Full disclosure, I've had 30, 40, 50 bucks, I don't know exactly, of uh, crypto tips sent to, sent to this account for tips that I sometimes get. So there might be 50 bucks in there. But other than that, if we take off 93, which is double the amount, it's still 600. So I've made 600 out of 500. So you can see 120% just there. And that is the worst case scenario. Pretty good, right? So there we go. A little bit of information with XRP. What a great day. We want to offer our sincere congratulations to Sensei. He's a very uh, emotional, real human person. And I know he feels a lot for the members here. And I know more than anything else, not the money he's made, but to the fact that we've got it right for our members. He'll be thrilled to bits for that. So anyway, congratulations to all our members who got involved. Congratulations to, to, to Sensei. If you want more information on the crypto challenge, look up here. And if you look down here, more crypto videos videos as well. Until next time, let's hope we can keep wearing the gold jacket. Take care of your money, your crypto, yourselves, and each other.